Today, I'll show you why this one bedroom condo in Oahu's hottest new neighborhood is worth $718,000. Welcome to Keahoe Place, a 388 unit, 43 story condo tower with additional townhomes completed in 2017. That date marked the completion of increment one of our Kaka'ako. Stretching 29 acres and nine city blocks, this ambitious master plan community started in the early 2000s and approved in 2009. The vision was to create a progressive and modern livable community that blends vibrant urban culture and island living in a beautiful, healthy, and sustainable neighborhood. But no neighborhood is complete without a space to relax and unwind. Somewhere public, but private and feel. Mother Waldron Park is exactly that, a nearly two acre park that anchors all the residents of the area that are looking for community. Keho Place is not just a tower, it's a livable community of shops, restaurants and activities all in one block. While most residents do their shopping and down to earth, just across the street is H Mart for all new Korean shopping pace. And only one block further than that is Salt at Kaka'ako, Honolulu's epicenter for local culture, food, shopping, and events. It has everything here, from your Starbucks coffee needs, to local breweries, to many, many restaurants. Moku is the most popular and always packed, so make sure to book a reservation here. Walking around, you can tell something is different. There's a vibe. It's not just a marketing gimmick to sell the neighborhood, it's built into the essence. Just look around. Now that you understand the R Kaka'ako neighborhood, let's turn our attention back to Keoho Place. Keoho Place was built by Stanford Carr, a developer with strong Hawaii roots, multiple Oahu projects, and approach that's garnered both local and national recognition. Before this project started, the site was just a parking lot. After years, it was still just a parking lot. Now, it's one of my favorite condos in the Our Kaka'ako community. Just walk into the lobby, you can feel the vibe. It's modern, tasteful, playful, all without being pretentious. Unit 1204, the one bedroom currently listed for 718,000 is located on the 12th floor with a beautiful view even outside the elevators. Each floor in the building has 11 units ranging from one bedrooms to three bedrooms. Typically, the best views and floor plans are reserved for three bedrooms, then two bedrooms, then one bedroom. But to help you understand value and why the price may be justified for you, we'll evaluate this unit and building from the top five factors that determine home price. You can get a further explanation of them here from my previous video. One, location. Keho Place as part of our Kaka'ako was developed with this as the most important value point. A five to 10 minute drive to anywhere you need to get to in town and walking distance to most of your daily needs. While the most expensive location in town is closest to Alamoana, the question to ask is how much will you pay for each block closer? How much is that worth to you? 2. View and privacy Within each condo, the view and privacy changes depending on what unit stack you purchase. Unit 1204 is part of the 04 or D stack and has the best of you out of the one bedroom stacks. It is the only stack that faces Diamond Head and the ocean, which is the premier view location. For privacy in condos, you typically refer to who can see inside your condo. So this references neighboring condos and people looking at you from the street. With no projects planned to block the view and no visibility from the street, it's the most cost-effective floor, as typically each floor increases cost. 3. Accessibility This is more a decision specifically of single-family homes versus condo living, so for this condo specifically versus others, you're referring to amenities and being pet-friendly, so let's discuss that a little later. 4. Property Size Let's rewind to the slide that goes over the one bedrooms. Not only does this unit have the best view, but it has the highest square footage for one bedrooms. Layouts are also slightly different, with two stacks having an L or galley shaped kitchen versus this unit having an island. 
personally, for dual usage as counter and table space, I do prefer islands. You also have to be careful about retaining walls of the building impacting your livable space, as this one unit has it run through. 5. Property Condition You'll find less variance in newer condos for property condition because the materials used are much more modern and many units won't do renovations for years to come. Above this price range, some units may vary due to developer choices on theme, like Ward Village's light or dark with relevant materials, but even for those, 80 to 90% choose one over the other. Light rules. Now let's get back to amenities. Some of the most important considerations for amenities are how many amenities are there? How much do the amenities cost? With amenity costs measured as maintenance per month. What many buyers don't understand is that maintenance is determined by unit size in square feet. While it eventually turns into price, the best metric of comparison is maintenance per square foot per month and Keohoe Place is one of the second lowest compared to similar projects built since. Plus, if you don't use them... The amenity deck located on the 8th floor includes these standard new project amenities similar to all the new condos in town. Swimming pool, jacuzzi, fitness center, barbecue areas, party room, grassy area, and kids playground. Typically only about 1-5% to of all condo residents use the amenities and Keho Place is no exception. The proof is how many people are in the pool and jacuzzi right now. With such a beautiful way to end every day, what's not to love about this building that comes with your purchase? With prices in the building for similar one bedrooms already 9% off of sold highs, buyers having negotiation power, and being the lowest price unit for very similar comparables, today is the day to make it happen. You don't even need to leave home to start. Just book an appointment with me right here and you could celebrate Christmas calling Keho Place home. Now where would you guys rank Keho Place in the pecking order of Kakaako condos with price in mind? would love to know your opinion. It would make my holiday season for you to subscribe here. You'll be notified of the next video in this series right here. Thank you.